This is NFRW Fast Forward. I'm Ann Shockett, president of the NFRW, the National Federation of Republican Women. What an incredible week we've had with the nomination of Amy Coney Barrett for the U.S. Supreme Court and the first 2020 presidential debate. President Trump chose a remarkable woman, a brilliant and widely respected legal scholar and a devoted mother of seven. Judge Barrett is an inspiration to all women who hail her principles in law and in life. NFRW stands ready to support her against any attacks on her judicial record or personal life. Make sure you're plugged into NFRW on Twitter and Facebook to follow our communications during the SCOTUS hearing. Be prepared to retweet and share and add your own comments. And as for the first debate, our president's proven results spoke more loudly than Joe Biden's empty words. President Trump successfully detailed what he has accomplished in 47 months, more than his opponent, a career politician, has done in 47 years. Putting America first, Trump is leading the great American comeback. Biden evaded questions and offered misleading rhetoric to try to conceal his allegiance to the agenda of dangerous, radical socialists. Their proposals would wreck our economy, destroy jobs, undermine our energy independence, and dismantle and destroy our constitution and our country. We NFR warriors are hard at work getting out the vote for President Trump and all our Republican candidates. We're ready for Election Day. Just 33 days left to November 3. Last weekend, I was thrilled to join our dedicated strike forces in Florida. Thank you, Deborah Tamargo, president of the FFRW. This weekend, I'm off to Iowa to join President Barbara Haynes Bryant, our federated sisters and our terrific candidates including Senator Joni Ernst and Ashley Hinson and Marionette Miller-Meeks. Join a strike force during these last critical weeks. We can't leave any stone unturned. Look for our action alerts and spotlights and for messages from your states and clubs. We're fighting for the future of our country. NFR warriors are responding with action and prayers. Last week, the Chevy Chase Women's Republican Club of Maryland gathered for their inaugural Prayer in the Park. They shared prayers for President Trump and the election. The park setting gave them an opportunity to spread out for small group meditations and then join together at the end. Great idea, Chevy Chase. And... In another park in western New York, the Genesee County Women's Republican Club set up a free children's library as their Caring for America project. They chose a park that serves five school districts, but doesn't have a library nearby. Susan Mattis had the library built and custom painted with book characters. The club filled it with free books for the kids who, by the way, are returning the books and even donating new ones. Way to go, New York. This has been another NFRW Fast Forward. Looking forward to speaking with you again next week. Be well and be safe. And let's get out the vote.